Mark Erickson, who I want to uh, thank because he participated in our summit in September. Um, he did a great job there. Yeah, now I thought sitting on the stand I'd get the last. No, you get the first. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about um, what Wittenberg as an anchor institution, which we've identified as such as such an important, um, as having a very important role in cities around the state, what, you, what Wittenberg is doing to stimulate growth and development in Springfield. Um, well, let, let me start by saying when I, when I came in to this meeting this morning, Mike Morris said to me, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> so I wondered what that meant. And, and I realized I was supposed to be out of town traveling, so I'm a last minute addition to the panel, which means I have no prepared answers. So you're having to talk top of my head what I'm thinking. Um, I, well, I, th I think anybody here has heard me talk on numerous occasions that Wittenberg and Springfield are inextricably tied to one another. Uh, there's no, no doubt in my mind the success of this community and the success of Wittenberg are, are linked one to another. We are here. And we will be here, we've been here 164 years, we'll be here another, another 164 years. So our goal is to leverage assets we have in partnership with this community to move us forward. The creation of our Center for Civic and Urban Engagement, I think, is a very public manifestation of that commitment on our part. Working with leaders in this community to, divide, to define key issues that matter to the community and to us so that we can leverage you know, the power of our professors and, and, and that they have, the students, and some other resources we have on campus in a way that help move us forward. We have four projects, and you know, gosh, Warren probably talked better about this than I could, that we're focusing on right now. One is housing, one is downtown development, one is development of Buck Creek, and then the fourth is after school programs. Because in our discussions with leaders in those, this community, those appear to be the issues where we can best help this community. One of the initiatives I'm most excited about coming out of Greater Ohio is something called Enterprise Zones. Uh, this is the notion that you have anchor institutions in universities and in hospitals that are hubs for investment and innovation that the state should look at as areas to invest in. Um, I think we're blessed in this community that we have both. We have universities and medical facilities right either in the downtown or right around the downtown. I came out of Pennsylvania, as you know, Lynn and I came, when Lynn and I came here three and a half years ago, and were part of a very successful program there called Keystone Innovation Zones. Um, same idea, eds and meds, and investing in communities and areas that have those sorts of engines for economic development. I'm most hopeful that coming out of this project, we will have that same sort of kind of strategic, visionary investment in the state of, on the part of our state in areas that have those sorts of collaborative activities. So. Great.